Look, how y'all doing? <laughs> I got um, another book of bizarre truth stories, and this is The Hauntings at Harpo Studios. If you don't know what Harpo Studios is, it was um, the place where the Oprah Winfrey show used to be shot back in the day. Um, um, I'm not sure, um, what is, I, I believe that Oprah had Harpo Studios demolished. So let's find out what stands on the ground. Let me just ask a question. Has anything been built on the land where Harpo Studios used to be in Chicago? Something is wrong. My Google Assistant just is not working, y'all. I don't know why. Let's try my Samsung. Bixby. Let's try Bixby because I don't know what's wrong with this other heifer. Okay, let's see. Jesus. Oh, listen, let's just go with the Book of Bizarre Truth for now, okay? I want to find out, um, somebody rest in peace, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Fix it. <laughs> Go back. Big bed. Oh, man. I need you to do what I need you to do, man. Hey, Google. Has anything been built in place of Harpo Studios? Has anything been built in place of Harpo Studios? Mm -mm. Oh, it's the new global site of the headquarters for McDonald's. Harpo Studios was the home of the Oprah Winfrey Show from January 15, 1919, located in near West Side neighborhood uh, of Chicago. Scenes from Beloved were also filmed on set in Harpo Studio. The studio was sold to developer Sterling Bay in 2014 and was de demolished in 2016. See? I knew I had that right. Um... Okay. The Harpo Studios itself transitioned uh, to becoming own headquarters in Los Angeles. So that's where her studio is now. She's no longer in Chicago. Okay. Okay. 
how much did they uh, Sterling Bay pay for this facility? Thirty point five million dollars, and then they demolished it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hauntings at the time. Uh, hauntings at um, Harpo Studios. At the time of the Eastland disaster, the only public building large enough to be used as a temporary morgue was the Second Regiment Armory located in Chicago's West Side. The dead was laid out on the floor of the armory and assigned identification numbers. Chicagoans who, whose loved ones had perished in the disaster filed through the rows of bodies. Oh, I just, ooh. I can't, I can't, y'all. I can't, I can't. I refuse to even imagine it. I refuse, I refuse to even imagine it. It's, it's, it's too horrible. It's too horrible. To have to fall through and see one body of your family member, but to fall through and see all those bodies, it's too much. That's too much. Why these people did this? Why these people allowed this to happen this way? In 1915, it's, I hope they ain't doing that today. I don't know what happened in 9-11, but I sure hope that they did it a lot more respectfully than they did this in Chicago. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Give me strength. Mm, 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 mm. It's almost a, it's over a hundred years ago, y'all. Over a hundred years ago. <sighs> okay. The dead were laid out on the floor of the armory and assigned identification numbers. Chicagoans whose loved ones had perished in the disaster filed through the rows of bodies. Bodies searching for familiar faces. But in 22 cases, there was no one left to identify them. Those families were completely wiped out. The names of these victims were learned from neighbors who came searching for their friends. The weeping, crying, and moaning <laughs> of the bereaved echoed off the walls of the armory for days. Lord have mercy, Lord Jesus. Mm. I'm gonna say it again, when no black people there. Thank you, Lord. It was because of segregation and racism. They come they ain't hiring no black people. Thank you, Jesus. That's just my personal child. That's just my personal. Uh, it's a horrible, horrible thing. If this can be prevented, I say prevent it. Treat people right. Leave folks that you don't like. Leave them alone. You ain't got to like them. Leave them alone. Don't pretend that you like black people because you want to use them. You want to take advantage of them. You want to mistreat them. Leave people alone especially if you don't like them. Leave them people alone. Leave them people alone. Life is hard enough as it is. You're going to have some trouble in your life. But some stuff, you, you ain't got to be, you know. <sighs> don't get put on God's list. You hear me? Don't do it. Leave people alone. If you don't like them, leave them alone. Somebody don't like you, leave them alone. Stop putting yourself up under them people for them to mistreat you. Leave them people alone. Leave them people alone. I've talked to several people, several people who don't like me because they, they fully intend to use me and they're mad at me because they can't. You hear me?
Listen, it said, the weeping, crying, and moaning of the bereaved echoed off the walls of the armory for days. There's a connection between this armory and Harpo Studios. Listen, the last body to identify, to be identified, was Willie Novotny. A seven, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, Lord, 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 you know, I'm going to learn to read this and stuff uh, before I read it to y'all, that's what I'm going to do, I just, I, you know, I haven't read this before, Lord Jesus, I can't, I can't deal with that. He was only seven. He was only seven, y'all. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. I went to see a picture of the little, little boy. So uh, there's a picture of him. Cute little boy, huh? Poor thing. I just know when you give birth to a child, you hold that newborn, you don't think. I'm only going to have him for seven years, you know. <sighs> Lord have mercy. That's all I can say. That's why I try to do what I'm supposed to do, honey. I try to do what I'm supposed to do. Treat people properly and stuff. And keep my faith in God and not in people. Okay? Because when trouble happens, I want to know. That it's not because of something I did. You know, because I mistreated somebody. <sighs> but I gotta tell you, a lot of people, when things happen to them and they're arrogant, they take it the wrong way. Instead of it humbling them and them realizing what it is, they have a hard heart. And they get into even more trouble. Sometimes when stuff happens, it means sit your behind down. Stop doing what you're doing. You know, I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to shade nobody. I ain't going to say nothing. That's my deal. I'm learning, I'm, I have learned to mind my own business. If you watch my channel on um, my nose running down. I'm sorry, y'all, but I do be feeling emotional, especially by a little baby like that. You know, hold on a minute. I know God don't make no mistakes, but you know, it's just, who oh, that bothers me? That bothers me, y'all. Pray for me. I just, you know, that's why a lot of stuff I can't do it, you know. A lot of stuff I can't. I can't see people hurting like that. Some people like it. I'm not one of those people. I'm not one of those people, honey. <laughs> anyway, his name was Willie. Yeah, he was seven years old. Anyway, 
bless his soul wherever he at, Lord. Well, if you on the other side, still help me. <laughs> help me to tell people about you. All right. Okay. The last body to be identified was Willie Novotny, a seven-year-old boy whose parents and older sister had also perished on the East Coast. When extended family members identified the boy nearly a week after the disaster took, took place, a chapter was closed <laughs> on one of Chicago's most horrific events. As years passed, here we go, Harpo Studios, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you know, you don't know in life what's it going to be, but can you imagine sending your resume to uh, work on this new TV talk show? And you sent your resume to the Donovan Show. <laughs> And the Sally Jesse Raphael show, where you sent your resume to uh, work on the Oprah Winfrey show. And the Oprah Winfrey show calls you back. And the office where you're going to be working is where all these bodies was laid out in 1915. And here you are in 1980. 1989, and oh, it's just, oh, keep me from ever being able to do that, Lord. I don't want to work nowhere where they had bodies up in there. And, oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Lord. Okay. As years passed, the Armory Building went through several incar incarnations, including a stable. Can you imagine horses? All oh, them horses were freaking out. You know that. <sighs> a bowling alley. Before Harpo Studios, the production company owned by a talk show made an open with the purchaser. Child. I don't think Oprah uh, go to church and stuff like that. I don't think she do. I think she read books and stuff like that, but probably ain't the Bible. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you do Oprah, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> it could happen. Listen, talk show maven. Open with for purchase it. <sighs> a number of the Oprah Show staff mem members, security guards, and maintenance workers claim that the studio is haunted by the spirits of those who tragically lost their lives on the East Coast. Many employees have experienced unexplained phenomena, including the sighting of a woman in a long gray dress who walks the corridors and then mysteriously vanishes into the wall. I don't think that she she drowned on the east one. This is some other woman. Um, yeah, some believe she is the spirit of a mourner who came to the armory looking for her family and left a bit of herself behind at a place where she felt her greatest sense of loss. The woman in gray may not be alone in her spectral travels through the old armory. Staff members have also witnessed doors opening and closing on their own and heard people sobbing, whispering, and moaning, as well as phantom footsteps on the lobby's staircase. Those who have experienced these strange events believe that the tragedy of yesterday is still manifesting itself in the old armory building today. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Willa, Willa, Willa. Lord Jesus. Did Oprah Winfrey ever see any ghosts in her old studios in Chicago? Uh, okay, this is on pay scale. Who knew? I'm going to have to check out their website. What? Let me pull it up now. <laughs> According to pay scale, look at this. What? That's amazing. All right, pay scale. I gotta put them, I gotta bookmark them. Say what, say what, say what? Pay scale knows what's up. Pay scale. Um, that is awesome. I love that graphic and everything. They are amazing. The four most haunted office buildings in the U.S. I'm going to say that for another time. I'm going to say that for, I'm going to let that stand on its own, y'all. That's it. I'm going to stop it right there for um, Chicago Hauntings of Har Harpo Studios. And I'll be back with the pay scale. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Um, Subscribe to this channel, share this video, and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know if you have the book. Let me know what you think about this content, and I will talk to y'all later. Okay, bye. <laughs>